Previously on Music as un Voyage. Music as un Voyage. In this episode, I talked a bit more with Jo about her composing process and her relationship with music. Then I went back to meet Milena and she told me about her efforts to bring Shoro and other rhythms from her culture to Liverpool. She talked about her idea of forming a band and leaving her own contribution to this musical city. And it was great to see her realizing this dream when I went to one of her percussion workshops. Eu vou fazer em, em julho em Londres o, o Beatles do Choro. Aí eu espero que a gente consiga inspirar, né? Outros músicos daqui de Liverpool cheguem junto pra gente poder fazer é, uma banda de choro em Liverpool, que eu posso deixar essa herança pra cidade. E o choro vai agradecer muito, né? Porque o choro merece. Amanhã vai começar um workshop de percussão, vão ser seis semanas. Cada semana eu vou trabalhar um ritmo, assim, pra, pra eles desenvolverem bem. Né? Vou trabalhar bastante os ritmos do Nordeste, do Brasil. Mais, assim, o coco, maracatu, a ciranda, o caboclinho. Porque aqui, as, os grupos de batucadas que tem na Europa, em geral, aqui na Inglaterra também, é muito de samba batucada. Então, o samba chegou bastante, assim, mas os ritmos do Nordeste ainda não. E eu sou de lá, né? Vocês vêem assim, estilos musicais que eu adoro, que estão dentro de, da minha alma, que, que, que me acompanham a vida toda, desde que eu nasci. O projeto é um lugar incrível aqui em Liverpool, que chama Invisible Wind Factory. E lá a gente vai é, trabalhar as aulas, vai trabalhar os ritmos, vai trabalhar a essência da percussão. The idea is to make a project and then I'm really happy to, to meet everybody here. Every week you're gonna work in, in different style of music from North East Brazil. Today you're gonna work in make some coco. It's really nice because the women used to work and then they have the dry coconuts and then they clap and then do the song. The more important thing is they understand the rhythm of the claps and the feet. because, you know, journeying like has been a really useful tool for me. So I'd kind of like to share that with other people. Sort of creating music with guitars and basses and vocal effects and songs is probably more important to me right now because I'm keen to do more of that and to play live again. I feel very like most alive is when I do live performances. Like most present and that there's like a strange time distortion which I think a lot of performers will talk to about because like all my bandmates 
you know, we'd, we'd be like, God, was that 45 minutes? It felt like a minute, but also like forever at the same time. That was crazy, you know, but I think this is like a, I think that's what being present is, you know, and I think lots of people experience that in different ways, but music is a really wonderful one. I mean, I think it's kind of like, you know, the sound of a, a gong. Have you ever been to a gong yeah. bath? It's like, it's beautifully dark. I think for me it sounds like the creation of the universe, like just these beautifully dark songs. So I think that, yeah, we shouldn't be afraid of like the shadow aspects of ourselves because they're, they're very much a part of who we are. And when we can express that in a way that's beautiful, it kind of like, is can potentially be transformative for you and the the listener you know so like but then it's so unique for everybody what you know where one person will have that experience from one piece of music it just might not work for someone else at all you know which is like what makes music so wonderful is that everybody has such different experiences of the same thing I mean when I look back on some lyrics I think oh gosh I feel like it almost wasn't me like it's but I'm really proud of them and I kind of think, oh gosh, I can't believe I did this. It's almost like I didn't do it, you know. So I think maybe it is either like tapping into your deep subconscious that isn't, you know. But also like, you know, other things that have happened in my life. Like I think the songs almost gave me a bit of a warning about what was going to happen. But I only realised it after. So now when I write songs, I, sometimes I think... I mean, I try not to anal I try not to overanalyze that sort of thing. It's just sort of something that I've noticed that a few songs have like definitely that make they've made more sense to me like a year or two after I wrote them. Like, ah, oh yeah, and then that happened, and I wrote this song just before that. So, do you think music can even be like a kind of therapy? Yeah, I mean, I think any sort of creativity is. I mean, I don't always like the word therapy because I think. It, well, f not for me, because I think sometimes that can be like off-putting to people, you know, and make them think of something else. But it's like, you know, when people go to see a band that they love and they get really excited and have an amazing time, then they, they feel better and connected and like, if that's therapy, yeah. then... Well, it, it helps you connect, doesn't it, to yourself and, and others, which is something that is lacking a bit in society at the moment. And music is just like connects people and connects yourself to yourself. And I think that that's just like, it's, it's beautiful, isn't it, when that happens? levo minha bolsinha com ele dentro e saio tocando com todo mundo, encontro as pessoas e faço mil conexões musicais com o pandeiro, que é a minha paixão, meu amor, <risos> da minha vida. Quem foi o seu grande mestre no pandeiro? Meu grande, meus dois grandes mestres, né? O Marco Suzano foi o primeiro grande mestre. Nossa, me incentivou muito, assim, e o Jorginho do pandeiro. do choro, assim, foi o cara que ensinou muita coisa da técnica do choro. E o Suzano foi, assim, em geral, assim, um grande mestre, ele me ensinou muita coisa e foi o cara que me incentivou a tocar pandeiro, assim, pra caramba. Foi lindo, estou muito agradecida porque deu certo, as pessoas estavam super engajadas, interessadas e ficaram felizes, todo mundo veio me abraçar no final. Vou tirar uma selfie de recordação. Claro. Valeu. Que bom que você veio. Seu tempo, seu mate. Yeah, I'm ready now. This is it. This is, this is the sausage. <laughs>
Mãe, a gente tá gravando. Mãe, a gente tá gravando. Vamos tentar juntar um Beatles com música brasileira aqui, então? Vamos. Vamos ver o que sai. Sim, com certeza. Você quer ensaiar antes ou vamos tentar? Vamos tentar. Então vamos tentar. Vamos mandar um All You Need Love? Não sei pra onde que eu gosto. 